a Diamante encrusted horsehead statue full of cocaine and a manhunt that went on for over a year. Henry and Chondo's case had all the makings of a bad movie, really. Today at the High Court in Auckland, and Chondo admitted his part in a bungled attempt to get the kink cocaine in order to sell it on. Our reporter Edward Gay was in court, and Edward is beside me in the studio now. Hi, Eddie. Lovely to have you here as always. Uh, and Chondo was meant to pick up the cocaine at a fancy old uh, downtown Auckland hotel, right? Yeah, that's right. Henry and Chondo flew into New Zealand on a US passport in June 2016. He'd been put in touch with a fellow uh, US passport holder, that's uh, Ronald Cook Sr., and also Mexican Agustin Suarez Juarez. And he actually met the pair uh, in the Crown Plaza Hotel where Ronald Cook Sr. and Augustine Suarez Juarez had, had a room booked. Uh, Cook met Anchondo in the, in the hotel lobby and uh, he, took, he took Anchondo up to the room. But the deal never actually went ahead. What, what went wrong? Well, initially everything actually went to plan. Uh, this Diamante encrusted horse's head uh, weighing 336 kilograms uh, that had been sent to Mexico, landed from Mexico to Mangari uh, in a storage warehouse in Mangari. Nearly three weeks later, Cook and Suarez Juarez landed in the country. They rented a house out in Te out, um, out west, and they flew out to Hawaii after setting up that house uh, and returned to the country about a month later on June 30. A cook and Suarez Juarez bought power tools uh, at, a local, um, at a local tool shop uh, to try and break into this horse's head and get this cocaine out. And the meet with an Anchondo was scheduled uh, for the following day. Uh, the police have been watching the whole time though, right, Eddie? That's right. The, the horse actually contained 35 packets of rice risotto by this stage. Uh, one of the packages also had a tracking device hidden inside. Investigators and customs officers uh, had been watching the storage shed. They'd been watching Cook and Suarez Juarez while they'd been in Auckland. Uh, Cook and Suarez Juarez took uh, five of the packages uh, uh, to the room from, from Te Aratu to the, to the Crown Plaza hotel room um, and uh, for this meet with Anchondo. And the cocaine, this cocaine five packages, if it had been cocaine and not rice risotto, <laughs> uh, ha had a street value of between $1.25 and $2 million. Well, rice risotto or risotto rice? Well, well, it, well, it had to be made and someone made it. <laughs> it was, uh, as I understand it, it was still dry. But, uh, the, the, so they, they were so unlucky though, uh, also, uh, that one of the packages they took was the package with the tracker inside it. So. They managed to uh, uh, they managed to pick that one out as well. Forty five seconds of I stop giggling and Chondo disappeared. Yeah, well, so this meet had, took place in the hotel, um, but when when the package was opened up and they found the tracking device, everyone scarpered, everyone panicked. Um, Suarez Suarez and and Cook went off to the went off to the airport. They tried to flee the country. They were arrested in the departure lounge, and and Chondo disappeared. And he he went missing for over a year. Amazing. Finally arrested in Whangarei uh, in September uh, last year, and he is now due to be sentenced in August. Edward Gay, brilliant work as always. Thank you very much indeed.